Is it possible to have one without the other? Well, it depends. If you're talking about Bitcoin as a sort of like a symbol of a cryptocurrency ingrained into a permissionless blockchain, no. I mean, you need, if you're trying to build something that is permissionless, that is to say that all the miners, those who validate the network, uh, are from anywhere, anybody can participate in that network, then you need to have a cryptocurrency of some sort to act as an incentive and to sort of basically be the arbiter of, of the whole process. So it's actually impossible if you're talking about that kind of a blockchain. There is such a thing as a permissioned blockchain, which is not really a blockchain, but it's a distributed ledger with uh, a, a group of permissioned entities that is still interesting, that yes, you, do, you can just have them all agree to validate the ledger according to uh, you know, an agreement amongst themselves. It doesn't need to be that cryptocurrency. But they don't have an incentive. incentive. Yeah. Okay. My concern with that phrase is that most people don't know what they're talking about. I mean, you can literally have, a, have in that second sense a blockchain without a cryptocurrency. But I think most people say, I, I don't like the digital currency. And I think that the digital currency is the only interesting and important feature of Bitcoin, where really it's this whole holistic system of, yes, it's a currency that you can buy things with, but just as importantly, if not more, it's the mechanism through which we go around proving this decentralized immutable ledger. And that's really the most important, interesting thing of the whole shebang. So